you guys how I made the um, shortcut um, and the data that I had to capture from HTTP Catcher using my um, screencasting thing here um, on my computer just because the, the audio is a little bit crisper and stuff. So I'm going to play you guys um, the screen capture I did from my phone of uh, the session with HTTP Catcher and I'm going to speak over it. Um, I, just so you know, I have ADHD and a bunch of other, um, I guess you would say disabilities and stuff. So I have, might have a hard time explaining things, but, um, I do know how to make these things pretty well. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and play, um, my screen capture and talk over here. So I'm using HTTP catcher and I've logged out of, what do you call it? Skip the dishes. So you'll see, like, I'm just turning on catcher here to make a log of it. Right. And then, yeah, so it'll start a new session. And I already have this certificate in the right place on the phone. So just so you know, it's not, there's nothing, if nothing shows up, it means that you haven't put in the certificate correctly. So I have to capture the um, login just so I could get the, uh, the tokenized information in terms of like the app token and stuff. So you'll see here in a second is log me in, but I'm just, ca I logged out so I could capture just that login information. So I'm going to go back to HTTP catcher and you'll see here, I'm just sorting through, I'm looking through the request cause I'm looking for the post request for the, uh, I guess you would say the login. And usually you'll see like login in the title of it. Right. So like, you'll see like there's a whole bunch of information, but then there's, you know, one with a login. I'm just kind of sorting through that. And of course, I'm just taking a look through my shifts here, my open shifts that I dropped. And I, I tried running the automation, but I think it's because of the VPN was on right now at this point in time. So I just like I gave up. But um, yeah, this is just the, the error failing here. And then, yeah, it's not going to work from the um, for the automation part here, but you'll see, I've got a whole bunch of the requests captured, and those are all giving the 400, right? Because it's not going to let me log in with the uh, VPN on. So you'll see here the post for API couriers dot skip the dishes dot com. It was right there, right under my nose, but um, I think I went back here, and then yeah. Hold on. I'm just sorting through all these requests, looking at them, looking at the titles, because I just want to look for that post request, right? So I'm getting a little frustrated here, but I, I saw it right under my nose. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. When do I find it? But yeah, you have to just go through um, all the, the sniff logs, and then you find the one that says login at the end. And... Um, it, or it'll say like login or, or like um, access or whatever, right? So like whatever they, they use. But this gives you a lot of details on the app and how it kind of works. Um, when do I spot it? I think I do spot it sometime over here. Oh, there. Yeah, and you'll see this is how I get the, the, um, the app version. And I think it's like the device ID that I needed. Right, and you could just copy the key in, right? So, um, and then the token is the one on on top, right? So, or so you copy the key, or so you copy the value, and they co or copy the token. So, and you'll see right now it's showing my information. Da da da. But yeah, you need the um the app token. So this one here, or I can't really point, but like this one here, oh, it's kind of hard to point with this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to, I flag the request always, usually. I just put a star on it, just so I can look at it again later. But yeah, you need that app token and um, the string ID for the, sh I guess you would say the, um, your uh, career ID, I guess, right? So yeah, no, I need to block this information here, but yeah, that shows me my um, data, and that's the uh, the request URL is the one that you put in the um, URL for series shortcuts to... Um, yeah, this is just to uh, look at the available shifts, I think. Or no, not just to get, get my information currently, right? Because this is the one where you just get the information. And then, 
Do, 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 do. There's another get request that goes to uh, scheduled, I think, or no, um, yeah, to open the schedule and check available. So no, that's not it. I um, yeah, this one shows the the shifts. So you'll see in the URL request URL. That's the URL you need to use, and that's just like showing me the response. I'm just looking through the response here for some data, but yeah, you just need to um copy the header information and put it in to the get request and then there's another post request that goes to confirmed when you need to confirm the shift so yeah that's how that works uh, but yeah that's how like you kind of get the information in order to um, make an automation with Siri shortcuts or to make a program you always need to make a sniff of an application first so again you need to have a certificate on the root of your device um, and it should work. Uh, that's about it. Thank you. Have a good day.